I'm Deborah Meyerberg and I'm with Etienne de Monti from Domaine de Monti. So Etienne de Monti, why the deux? It's part of the story it's an, um, that actually links to an heritage uh, where my um, family uh, come from Burgundy, has been in Burgundy for the last 450 years. And the domain that is linked to the family uh, is about 300 years old, a little bit less, and has always been part of the family. Uh -huh. Located in Volnay, uh -huh. in Côte de Beaune. Uh -huh. So why do you use the De Monti? It's uh -huh. my name. Um, it, um, it's just the mark of the um, aristocratic um, root of the family. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And um, that is not that much important for the time being. What's happening with Volnay style these days? used to be quite delicate and feminine. What do you think now? I hope it's, it's exactly the same now. The style is, uh, uh, is completely linked to the terroir and, and, um, and it's up to the vigneron mm -hmm. to actually express the terroir uh, and respect the style and the identity and the character of the terroir. And it is true, it is true that Volnaise is um, uh, very often associated with finesse, with, an, with mm. elegance. Sometimes it's called the Chambon Musigny yes. of Côte de Beaune. Yes. And um, you, can, you can verify that, uh, you know, uh, year after year, vintage after vintage, and in many uh, uh, different estates in Volnaise, that definitely Volnaise is on the um, uh, feminine and, and very subtle and elegant style. And how would you compare Volnaise to Pomar? Mars and Venus. Uh, <laughs> we, we, say, we say that, you know, so the women, uh, they, they have to, they have to, but we, we, we often say that uh, uh, ladies and uh, women come from Venus and uh, men come from Mars, and it's a little bit like that. I mean, Pomar is m more powerful, more healthy. You uh, see your Grand Cru neighbors in the region have lots of success in Hong Kong. How are you finding the Asian reaction to Volnay? Whether Pomar is performing better than Volnay, they will be performing better than uh, uh, Savigny or whatever. I think it's, it's more a question of, as you, as you, as you pointed out, I mean, the, 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 the classification, the hierarchy. Mm. And obviously, the Asian market, although when you say the Asian market, it, it, it encompasses many different markets uh, that experience different level of maturity in terms of mm. awareness and mm. in terms of, of, of organization. Um, but <clears throat> take the, the local example of Hong Kong, that is, um, that has an, uh, experienced an, an extraordinary um, uh, leap forward uh, in, to, um, when it comes to the awareness and the knowledge of the wine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome.